And what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, it is your boy Cheap Ludes, and I am back to open some packs in NBA 2K21 my team. So, with the new limited time event in TT and TTO, I have accrued a pretty decent amount of packs. So I'm going to open them up and see exactly what I get out of all these free reward packs I got. I got a pretty good amount, I mean, I got some good ones too in here as well, like a lot of quantum packs, some mystery, some radioactive, some inferno. You know, a few Season 1, Season 2 packs sprinkled in there for the most part. I got some decent packs, so we're going to start with some of the bad ones over here. Start with this Magic Johnson pack. I mean, hopefully we get lucky. I did one of these last week. If you haven't checked it out, I'll link it at the end of the video. Silver Catch and Shoot, no Ornament Ball, and Silver Matt Thomas. It is what it is. The thing is, like, these pack openings aren't too terrible because 2K messed up the actual uh, card drops in their normal packs, so gold and below cards just don't drop anymore. So, it's putting some value on some of these older packs that you get in TT and TTO, just because they actually drop those cards, which not a lot of people have at the moment. So far, not looking good, but I don't really expect too much from the free packs. I'm just going to put these on probably JR and a couple other players, too. I won't put too many contracts on people, but two packs in we really don't have much what do we got up next like i said i wish i could like sort them so they just go to the top we got a manu pack if i burn my pd pull on a manu i'm gonna be upset yeah i got marcus smart and wilson chandler so i don't really have to worry about that hey some of these series one guys go for a little bit so i want to say even the bronze players go for like 800 at least so i'm not really too upset it could be worse like I said, if I can open all these packs and make, like, close to 100k off all the stuff that I have, that's totally fine. I'm cool with that. It's just a free 100k in addition to whatever I was making. Ooh, playoff records award pack. Come through. Let me get Robert Parrish. <laughs> I got Gary Clark. Not exactly what I wanted. I feel like no one's ever asked for Ruby Robert Parrish from a pack, but I don't even think he's in this pack. I think it's actually, uh, I think it's Mark Eaton. Is Mark Eaton in there? Yeah, Diamond Mark Eaton, I think, is in there. I think it was him and AI. We got next is now Dunker Packs. Let's get these trash out of the way. Oh, man. Spud Web. Okay, I think I have at least, like, three or four packs that have a Spud Web in it. In here, I should probably keep, like, a running counter of the amount of Spud Webs I get. Considering I am allergic to not drawing Spud Web. Oh, no. Do I have... Is he in Quantum? Oh, no, he's in Pantheon. I know I at least have one Pantheon, so I know Spud Web's around here somewhere. Got another Playoff Records pack. Uh, yeah, it looks like nothing. Markel Fultz and Dennis Smith Jr. Hey, whatever. That's a couple thousand MT, I suppose. <sighs> Everybody's calling me a 2K agent. Watch this pack opening. I guarantee my luck's bad. <laughs> I'm just doing this as a prerequisite. Maybe I can get my bad luck out of the way. For tomorrow's pack drop which if I am ooh, another dunkers pack if I'm to believe all the speculation on Twitter right now should contain a three-point shooting Ben Simmons and a bull bull but I'm not entirely sure another spud web mm-hmm that's cool two dunker spud webs that's exactly what we want it'd be funny though because I just feel like the market's gonna take a dramatic hit which I will cover later in another video here we go quantum pack give me Luca or KD. Nope. <laughs> That's a hard no. Mitchell Robinson and Tom Thibodeau. Fantastic. That's exactly what we want. But I feel like the market's going to take a pretty hard hit. Um, especially because 2K is probably going to tease something later. You know, like show like, I don't know, just like a still image of Ben Simmons trying to shoot a three or something. And the market's going to implode. We could see Luka even go to buy it now. I think enough people will sell off their Lukas. All right. Bronze Steady Shooter. That's cool. That's like 15k right there. So I'm fine with that. You could give me Bronze Steady Shooter in every pack with no cards and I'd be cool with it. Uh, I think at the minimum it's like 14k. That's fine. Uh, ooh, a Team Up Award pack. And then followed by a Manu. Thankfully, I should be getting out of all of the terrible ones. We got a Gold and a Bronze. Um, as far as packs, once I'm done with these next couple... The rest of them are pretty solid. I got a lot of quantum packs in here. I got some radioactive packs, stuff like that. I don't have too many more of these. The TTO drops have been nerfed today. 
I'll open the diamond consumables too. See if I get like a Kobe shoe or something. Got two emeralds. Zach Levine and Gordon Hayward. Fantastic. Whatever. 700 MT a piece. That's fine. It's 1400 MP for MP MT for just those cards. I'm tired today, man. I like how everyone was uh, speculating that today was going to be, you know, revealed to be whatever that blank reality was. And I, I said it last night. I was like, I don't think it's going to be tomorrow. I think it's going to be Friday, whatever it is. And that was correct. What it could actually mean, who knows. We could see retro packs, maybe. Maybe we see retro packs tomorrow. I don't know. Got a Flash 7 award pack. Let me get something good. That'd be a hard no. I got Tyler Johnson and Kristaps Porzingis. Okay. Not ideal. Um, not ideal at all. But yeah, we could see Retro 4 tomorrow with maybe like 2K20 Ben Simmons. Maybe even 2K20 Bull Bull. It'd probably be like the, was it? No, it wasn't Flight Club. Players Club Bull Bull. That card was nasty. Uh, ooh, a Playoff Underdogs pack. Okay. Get anything good out of this? You got Jalen McDaniel. Shout out to you. Is he still in the league? I don't know. It's fine. He looks generally surprised to even be on a card. Ah, <sighs> not a great pack opening today. Not not great. But I mean, when it comes to opening these free packs, like you almost kind of accept the fact that it's not going to be a great time. Like realistically, like I, I know. I'm not using VC. Flash five. I would take Jimmy Butler. You can give me Jimmy Butler. I promise it'd be okay. And uh, Drew Eubanks. Nah, that's actually what I wanted. I was I was kidding when I said Jimmy Butler. I wanted Drew Eubanks. There's just something about a white guy named Drew who plays for the Spurs that exudes talent. Um, I got a Yao Ming pack. I'll take a Jeremy Lin. That's fine. Mm, never mind. I got uh, Dwight Howard, who's still going for like 5K for some reason. So I'm I'm cool with that actually. Like, uh, just with the Steady Shooter and the Dwight Howard off the bat, I know I've at least made 20k. So, I think I'm going to inch close to that 100k by the end of this with quick sell value and once I sell all the cards, which is fine. That is barring me pulling something good. Like, if I'm just pulling packs like this, I should still make close to 100k off quick sell value and market sell. So... That's fine, and I mean, playing TTO for a day and making 100k off just the packs is fine with me, if that's the case. I mean, I got some locker code packs and some TT packs in here too, so it's not all TTO, but... Oh, got a Amethyst. Tyler Hero, with his stupid snarl face. Fantastic. Not great. <laughs> not great. Look, I mean, the best way to go about it is when you go into these free pack openings. Like, just don't expect much, man. I mean, any MT is is fine. I would take a Pink Diamond Jokic, though, because I know they're still going for a decent amount because Jokic keeps getting XP challenges. Drummond. Great. That's not what I really wanted. I could probably make a lot more MT if I sold these jerseys in the marketplace, but it's not worth putting all these in here for, like, you know, 20, 30 extra MT, even if they sell. It's just not worth kind of killing my auction space we got a flash eight pack let me get wilt or damar yeah or just anything really that'd be a hard no yeah you guys gave me naji marshall i mean i'm sure he's a nice guy but i don't really want him on my team right now i have i get him every time so i'm, I'm okay ah oh, but i don't know let me down let me what do you think is coming tomorrow like let me know down in the comments what cards you think are coming like i said i am going to do a market video after this, I'm still going to open the rest of these packs, obviously, but I'm curious what you guys think might be coming tomorrow. Wilson Chandler again. My old nemesis. Like, if it is a Ben Simmons, that would be cool. I would enjoy that. Like, if it was the Prime Series Ben Simmons, and he had, like, an 83-pointer and gold range extender, I think that would be a really good card, but it wouldn't be game-breaking. So I think that would be the best thing 2K could do. Like, it definitely would break the game a little bit, but it wouldn't be completely game-breaking. That being said, like, if you have Joakim Noah or Chris Webber or Grant Hill, those are about the only cards I can see stopping Ben Simmons on a consistent basis. At least with their size. Grant Hill is going to shoot up in price if we are getting one. Oh, here we go. Pantheon Deluxe. Give me Michael Jordan. 
Yeah, no. Spud web number three. How did I know? I just I just knew it in my bones that I was getting another spud web. Wow. <laughs> I mean they're two different spud webs, right? But I know they're spud nonetheless, and he's actually the least expensive out of them, from far as I know. Pretty sure he's basically discard value. If he even goes for 900, that's about the most he goes for. And one of these quantum packs want to pay off? That's not what I meant. Also, who's running Mitchell Robinson at Power Forward? I'd like to meet you. Oh, man. We have opened about half of the packs, possibly even more, and haven't really got anything of substance at all, uh, besides like an Amethyst, Tyler Hero, and a bunch of Spud Webs and Mitchell Robinsons. That's about it. Ooh, Amethyst time. We got Drazen. It had to be Drazen, who's going for like dirt cheap. I honestly would be surprised if I even get discard value. I should probably just discard him. I'll probably end up holding him till tomorrow. Just to see who the player we get tomorrow is. I see a lot of people saying it's going to be John Starks. I see people saying it's going to be Andre Miller. Andre Miller would be awful. Unless they change his jump shot. If they change his jump shot, it'd be alright. Hey, Curry 4, I think that's okay. I think that's going for like 7 or 8k. That's fine. I'll keep that one. I'll throw that on one of my big men or something. Solid Curry 3-point shoot. It's fine. Alright, what do we got now? Another Quantum Pack. Honestly, I'm getting tired of Quantum Packs. Unless they were to hit and give me like... That would be nothing. Um, a Durant, that'd be great. Ben Simmons. <laughs> it's a sign. Ben Simmons coming tomorrow confirmed. It's the only thing that makes sense. Uh, the Bull Bull, people are saying... By the way, people are speculating this because... 2K um, liked some old NBA clips. Which, honestly, it's usually a good sign. If 2K is my team is going and liking NBA clips, it usually means we're getting that player soon. So, I could definitely see us getting Ben Simmons and Bull Bull. But I could also see Bull Bull being like an Amethyst or a Diamond. Like, I don't think he, we're getting a Dark Matter or an Opal Bull Bull tomorrow that plays small forward. Like, I really think it's going to be an Amethyst, so. Uh, don't get too hyped up in anticipation for getting an OP Bull Bull because I really don't know if that's going to be the case. Like, just like the out-of-position packs, you know, when we saw a new Magic Johnson was coming to the fold, everyone panic sold their Magics, and it ended up just being a pink diamond. Granted, a very good pink diamond, not a point guard. You know, center power forward. And I could see that happening with Bull Bull, too. He could be power forward center and only be, like, an Amethyst, potentially. So, I'm just saying temper your expectations. Like, we never really know exactly what those cards are going to be like. All right, Flash 8. Bless. I hate using the word bless. Like, it drives me nuts. Look at Doug McDermott. I didn't even know he was still in the league, Dougie McBuckets, man. I think that's the most disappointed I've ever, ever been in the Bulls front office. And that's really saying something, because, like, if you were alive back in the uh, early to late 2000s, pre-D-Rose era, you know that there's a lot of questionable decisions. Cough, cough, LaMarcus Aldridge. I got Brandon Clark. Okay. I would say hold on to just on the off chance. Like, Andre Miller, it's hard to really prep for what cards might be expensive tomorrow because my man played on, like, 16 different teams. So I don't really know exactly what version of Andre Miller they're going to use. It could be any of them if it is him. Now, obviously, with John Starks, like, prep for New York Knicks players would be great. I know a lot of people are buying up Mitchell Robinson right now, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but it is what it is. Um... Yeah, prep and go grab some low-cost Knicks players if you can. Just on the off chance. I mean, I wouldn't spend over 1000 on any of them, just on the chance that it's not even John Starks. Which, it makes more sense to be Andre Miller, but at the same time, like, who wants a pink diamond Andre Miller? I mean, I'm a collector, I'll take it. You gonna give me pink diamond Durant? That'd be nope. Serge Ibaka? I'm pretty sure he's still going for like 8 9k. That's fine. Give me close to that 100k mark. I'm making MT for sure, like... I'm not pulling anything of substance or value or anything that's even remotely keeping my interest right now, but at least I'm pulling some stuff that's worth at least a little bit of something, so at least my MT will be kind of evened out at the end. Kelly Oubre. Look at you. Huh. I mean, I'm getting a lot of quick sell value. I'm trying to keep positive here. It's hard, though, because these packs really suck. I can't wait tomorrow till I open 2K packs and then I open the show packs because I guarantee the show packs are have better odds. Yeah, I don't have too many packs left. I still got some good ones though. I got like this radioactive. Um, 
I got one single Sapphire Charlie Ward. But I guarantee the show packs have better odds in the 2k packs i just have this feeling but i'm interested to see i think i'm gonna put 50 on each and we're gonna see what i come out on top with it's gonna be kind of interesting all right so far still nothing we got a flash six pack give me hakeem and i'll call this a w please uh that would be a hard no okay i got john collins and ryan saunders dude you don't even have a job anymore ryan You'll never be flip. Can I have something, please, 2K? Like, just please? I'm begging you. We got an Inferno pack. Give me LeBron. Or Tracy McGrady again for no reason. Uh, I got... Ben Simmons confirmed tomorrow. I've pulled Ben Simmons, like, three times. Confirmed. I'm being sarcastic. Like, I'm not serious about that at all. Like... <laughs> I hope it's Ben Simmons, because I usually like Ben Simmons in-game. The shooting Ben Simmons is, that is. Like, NBA is back Ben Simmons. I used him over all the GOAT cards last year. He was just that good. You guys want to see me open my Theo Ratliff? Yeah? Another Mitchell Robinson. Mitchell Robinson and Spud Webb are tied right now at three apiece. Ben Simmons is closely behind them with, I think, two. I'm going to get rid of this, uh, yeah. Ben Simmons, I don't really think you're going for anything. Chris Paul, yeah, sorry. You're not going for anything either. So I got three Spud Webbs, three Mitchell Robinsons, two Ben Simmons, and the rest is kind of jumbled up. So, could be worse, I suppose. I would like to get... I don't even know what I want anymore. Just the high-tier cards from these sets. Like, come on, man. Don't do me like this. That looks like a glitch. That's what I'm talking about, finally, dude. Let me shine. Give me a KD. That's not, uh, that's not a KD. I don't even know who the diamonds are for this set. Uh, okay, this is not a current guy. Who is this? Oh, it's AD. Oh, he's not going for anything. He's going for dirt cheap. That's a bummer. Oh, well, it's cool. No biggie. Whatever, man. That's 5k, I suppose. Get me closer to my goal. Like I said, I'm making some MT. That's the only thing I can use to justifiably like keep doing this without going insane, you know? I'm just gonna have such bad pack luck tomorrow. I can just like feel it in my bones, you know? And I know someone's gonna come in the comments like, you pulled three opals. Yeah, I know. I know that happened one time. I have like a hundred something pack openings in my channel. I promise you can go look at them. It never happened like that before. Uh, ooh, second Tyler Hero and my boy Jay Holla. Justin Holiday is hilarious. He's just another one of those Bulls guys that drops like 14 points a game that all the Bulls fans start hyping and don't want us to trade for some reason. A la Felicio or uh, who's another guy I feel? There's a new guy every two years. I guess it really doesn't matter. But there's always a guy for the Chicago Bulls fandom to just rally behind. We're, we're bad. We're so bad. <laughs> that Vucevic trade, man, it is not working out. <laughs> Shout out to Orlando for fleecing us. Three packs left. We got a radioactive pack, a Dominique, and a Flash 8. One of these has to hit, right? Okay. Silver Flexible and Yuta. Didn't hit that much, but at the same time, that will net me about close to 20k, probably around 15 to 20k. So, I'm getting closer to that 100k that I have alluded to. Plus, had some shoes in there, too, so it's fun. Dominique. I'm not really stoked about anything in this pack. Like, anything I pull isn't going to be worth anything. Still take. You gave me the all bronze pack, huh? Not a silver in sight. Couldn't even give me a silver shoe. Had to give me the straight bronze back. I have to assume that's either incredibly good luck or incredibly bad luck when that happens. I'm just not entirely sure, so. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. We got one pack left, you guys. Am I going to strike it rich? Is this last pack magic? I highly, highly doubt it. But if I get DeMar DeRozan here, that'd be sick. Yeah, nope. That's a negative. Uh, I got... At least they gave me the gold player. <laughs> It could, could be worse. It could be worse. So anyways, guys, that's the pack opening video. Let me know if you guys have had any luck with free packs down in the comments below from either Triple Threat or Triple Threat Offline or even Locker Codes in the past couple weeks. 
as you can see my auctions are stuffed with all these like low tier cards that I got but I mean after I sell them all I should probably be close to the 100k range so that's cool that's the whole goal of this anyway so check my description for all my stuff I'll be back later with some more content probably talk about the market once the market really starts to implode later on um I'll be back tomorrow with a bunch of new stuff I'm recording an episode of the podcast tonight so I'm gonna be away but peace out you guys have a good day